PLC goods represents implementation of a 16 floor elevator control system using the Atmel Atmega 8 microcontroller. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to use these I.O. devices to control the simulator. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content we have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI, and microcontroller-based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Figure 1 illustrates physical view of the simulator system with all related controlling push buttons and output LED indicators installed on the panel located at the bottom of the system. Figure 2 illustrates wiring schematics of all input and output field devices such as push buttons and LED indicators connected to the simulator's main PCB. Depressing PV1 closes the cabin door. Depressing PV2 opens the cabin door. Depressing and holding PV3 plus triggering either PV6 or PV5 simulates the elevator's cabin movement upward with either fast or a slow speed respectively. Likewise, depressing and holding PB4 plus triggering either PB6 or PB5 simulates the elevator's cabin movement downward with either fast or a slow speed respectively. By usage of the hammer switch located on the bottom left side of the panel, the cabin's internal light can be turned on or off. Functions of LED indicators and the 7-segment LED display. Pulse LED turns on or off with a period of 2 seconds every time the cabin arrives from previous floor to the next one. The first floor LED turns on when the cabin is parked at the first floor. Emergency done LED turns on when the cabin is parked at the floor below the first floor. Emergency up LED turns on when the cabin is parked at the floor higher than the 16th floor. The green LED located at the right side of the two digits 7 segment display start flickering when the pointer is revolving clockwise. The red LED starts flickering when the pointer is revolving counterclockwise. The two digits seven segment LED display indicates the floor number at which the cabin is parked. By depressing and holding PB3 and triggering PB6, notice that pointer starts revolving clockwise with fast speed which simulates movement of the elevator cabin upward from the first floor to the eighth floor. By depressing and holding PB3 and triggering PB5, notice that pointer starts revolving clockwise but with a slow speed to simulate movement of an elevator cabin upward from the eighth floor to the sixteenth floor. Also, Notice that in both cases, the pulse LED starts flickering every time the pointer is advancing from previous floor number to the next one, with a period of 2 seconds. Depressing PB3 and PB5 causes the pointer to continue its movement. Finally, when the pointer is aligned with the EU sensor, the EU-related LED is turned on. Depressing either PB1 or PB2 closes or opens the cabin's door respectively. 
Also, flipping the hammer switch to on or off position turns the cabin's internal light on or off respectively. When the pointer is manually revolved back to the first floor, notice that the first floor LED turns on. And depressing PB4 and PB5 make the pointer to revolve counterclockwise until it gets to be aligned with the ED sensor and turns the related LED on. The pointer is then manually placed on the first floor position. And by depressing PB3 and PB6, it starts revolving clockwise to get to the floor number 15. But notice that every time the pointer revolves clockwise, the pulse LED and the green LED starts flickering. Likewise, by depressing PB4 and PB5, the pointer starts revolving counterclockwise, going back from the 15th floor to the 8th floor. But in this case, the red LED starts flickering, meaning the direction of the elevator cabin is downward now. This is the red LED and this is the pulse LED. Using two green and red LEDs, is another way of indicating the current direction of the elevator's cabin. Thanks for watching my content. If you have any question on this topic, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel, such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.